In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the PLA matte by Bamboo Labs. It's the ivory white color. I'm going to show you how it looks, what you get inside the box if you're planning to order it. I'll also compare it to the bone white, which I have here, and some printout comparisons so you guys can see exactly how it's going to look, especially compared to bone white and also the basic PLA. So, as usual, when you purchase bamboo filaments, they always come with a silica pack. I throw those out because they're dried out already. You get this little sticker that you can throw and stick on to your spool so you know if you're using Mac, Pet G, or PLA. They're strapped in like this, and this is the ivory white color. A quick comparison to the bone white, which is on this spool, giving you that more kind of look of bones. This is a nice brighter matte finish white. And I do have some printouts here, just so you can see a comparison. So this is that bone white. So if you're looking to purchase bone white, that's the color you're gonna get compared to the matte finish white. And there is a distinct color difference. It's a little bit uh, less prominent on camera, but it is there. And then also here is the basic PLA and you can see it has that bit of shine to it. So the basic to the matte, you can see how it looks and also basic to the bone as well. You get a more prominent look of that bone color there. All right, so we'll get this ivory white color into the AMS. It's gonna start pulling it in itself and we'll start up a print so you can see exactly how it looks while it's printing. I did have this in a dryer first, so we're gonna get the optimal result here. Hopefully it comes out good. All right, so the print has started. I'll show you right here. The first layer is done. I can scroll and add it, but I'll take that second one top. This is a Nintendo Wii sort of case that's going to hold uh, the remotes and things like that. So we'll come back in about six hours when this is done. I'll show you the completed print. Now, don't get me wrong. You can get basic or matte PLA from any company you want and see how it works for you. I use my A1 Mini here traditionally to test out these random brands. This didn't even have a logo or anything. It did not work well. For whatever reason, constant fails, clogging, it just had issues. But uh, traditionally, I'm using mainly bamboo, bamboo, this one here, bamboo. That's another basic one, but it worked okay. And then look, I've got all the bamboos here and then there as well. So it's just been a personal preference of what I like to use, but you can see I do have random ones as well that I tested. If they work well, I review them. So it looks good, came out great with the, uh, I guess this is a warm light in this room. And just to give you a close up with some decent lighting, that's the Print out here, very clean, very nice, no jagged spots, no issues, very strong. And what I mean by that other filament I showed you that didn't work out very well, I'd get a lot of this. See those like lines or imperfections? That's what I would get because this one here was another one of those random no name filaments. So that's what I was getting with the white as well. But the scarlet white matte finish, this is how it looks. That's my printout, came out great. And again, just to show you compared side by side, on the right, you have the matte finish. And on the left, you have the PLA basic. So you can really see the difference there. So if you want a more shiny or kind of glossier white, the basic PLA, it's not too glossy, but it is there where on the white matte finish, it looks like that. So if you're in the market for a good quality white color PLA, this matte finish ivory white is a great option. Check it out. It might be for you.